Welcome to another video brought to you by Elite Educational and Professional Academy. In this video, we're going to explain with details the first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, simply transformed from one form to the other. If you're an engineering student, whether a freshman year or a physics student, a grade 10, 11, or 12, then this is a very important fundamental law that you should be able to understand and learn how to apply using the formulation. In this current video, we're going to learn how we formulate the first law of thermodynamics. We're going to understand why it works and how it works, along with an example to help you practice the concept and put the pen to the paper. So let's get right to it and start learning about the first law of thermodynamics. So we've said that the first law of thermodynamics simply revolves around the conservation of energy such that energy is not created or destroyed, simply transformed from one form to the other. But how does this reflect into our life? How can we mathematically represent the first law of thermodynamics? If we have a system, now anything could count as a system. It could be a piece of iron, it could be a paper, it could be a car engine, irrespectively. But if we are considering it, we'll be giving it the uh, nomenclature or the representation of a system. And for the sake of convenience, we're going to assume that this is a closed system in which the mass is not changing. And for any system, you do have particles. And these particles are the molecules or the atoms that make up the system, which are continuously moving with respect to each other. And they do have forces of attraction in the form of bonds between them. And this is represented by U which is basically the internal energy of my system and any change of that energy would be given the delta u representation which means the change the change of the internal energy so if your internal energy is changing right delta u equals to change in internal energy in joules okay if anything is affecting the movement of these molecules and the energy between them, it would be reflected as a change within the internal energy. Now, from the first law of thermodynamics, this change could be as a result of two things. Q, which is heat transferred. Heat transferred. Work, which is W. Work done by the system or on the system. So when we're talking about the change of the internal energy, heat could be either added or removed from my system. Work could be done on my system or could be done by my system. Now, usually when it comes to uh, formulating the first law of thermodynamics, there's an area of confusion between the chemistry students and the physics students when it comes to uh, representing the uh, sign of the um, work done by the system or on the system. But the way I'm going to teach right now will eliminate this confusion. So make sure that you're paying attention and you're concentrating. So the first law of thermodynamics states that the change of internal energy equals to Q minus W which is basically all of them are in joules, joules, and joules. Now, Q could be either positive or negative. If it's going into the system, it would be plus. And if it's leaving my system, it would be negative. However, we're going to consider minus W as work done by my system. And if my system is doing work, I'm going to change it to plus W, which means work done on my system. Now, this makes perfect sense, and it would eliminate the confusion that's happening between the chemistry students and the physics students, because this confusion stems from the perception of the system if you are viewing the system as if you are inside the system or you're viewing it as someone watching the system this is the basis for the change in the sign because from a physics point of view the formula would be q minus w however from a chemistry point of view the formula would be q plus w so to put that subject on the side and Im eliminate that confusion do what i'm telling you in the following steps 
you're going to keep the sign as minus W, which would represent the work done by your system. And if your system is doing the work, you're going to switch it to a plus W, which means work done on your system. Okay, so your formula, formula will have two variations, either delta U equals to Q minus W, where the W or the minus W would be by my system. And the other variation would be delta U equals to Q plus W, which the, in which that plus W means work done on my system that way the entire confusion is eliminated and just simply about crunching numbers from this point onwards so to recap the formula just simply states that the internal energy in joules is directly related to the heat transferred to or from the system along with the work done by the system or on the system so this is a mathematical representation for the first law of thermodynamics. So the best way to highlight this is through an example. Consider the following. 100 joules of work done on the system which causes the internal energy to change by 50 joules. How much heat is transferred? Now, the best way to go about a physics problem like this, always try to represent your problem visually using a schematic. So if I have a system, right, I have work done on my system worth 100 joules, which causes the internal energy to change by 50 joules. Now, what is the heat transfer? Is the heat being added to my system or being lost from the system? Let's go about the steps one at a time. First thing that you need to do, always write the formula. Delta U equals to Q minus W or plus W. Take a look at the system in front of me. I have 100 joules being added to my system. So I'm going to be using plus W in this case. Delta U would be 50. Q, I have no idea what that is. Plus W is going to be plus 100. And let's solve for the missing variable, which is Q. Q equals to 50 minus 100, which equals to minus 50 joules. Now, if you notice, we do have the sign to be negative, minus 50 joules. It means my system is losing heat to the surroundings, equals to 50 joules lost, or Q equals to minus 50 joules. Whatever representation you're comfortable with, that's perfectly okay. Because the arrow here is self-explanatory. It shows the direction of the heat transfer. And it means that your system is losing heat. And it makes perfect sense. Think about it. You have a system, you're adding 100 joules of work, which causing your internal energy to increase by 50 joules. And we do have leftover energy as per the first law of thermodynamics, which is manifested as heat transfer to the surroundings. So this is a great application for the first law of thermodynamics. And like I've said, for the area of confusion, which is the, the, the side of the work, whether we're considering it to be a minus W or plus W, do not get into the uh, assumed sign and uh, conflict between the representation. Just follow the steps as I'm telling you, and it will eliminate the entire confusion for you. Simply take in minus W as the work done by your system and plus W as the work done on your system and apply the formula straightforward. So what I'm going to do right now, I'll be giving you an example of problem and you should be solving the problem finding the answer and leave the answer in the comments just to make sure that you're able to apply the steps and compare your answers with the fellow community members as well. So in this current problem, I have 60 joules of 
heat transferred to a system which causes the internal energy to change by a hundred joules to increase find the work done now in this case the work could be done on my system or could be done by my system it's up to you to find it and make sure that you solve it and leave your answers in the comments below so to help you out we're going to present this with a schematic a system i have heat added so it means plus q right 60 joules to my system which causes my delta u to increase by 100 joules right to increase by 100 joules now what is the work done here is it done on my system or is it done by my system make sure you give it a shot just to make sure that you are able to apply the steps and you are familiar with the concept so we have covered the first law of thermodynamics we're presented visually and then we uh, came up with the formulation for the first law and how to go about applying the first law with an example. And now it's up to you to apply what you have learned with a hands-on example. So as we have seen, the first law represents the transformation of energy from one form to the other, in which the internal energy of any substance depends on two main factors, the heat transfer from or to the system and the work done by the system or on the system. It's very important to re-highlight that the factor which is a source of confusion for chemistry students and physics students, which is basically the sign for the work in terms of being positive or negative, depending on its presence with respect to your system. The way I now will eliminate this confusion. If the work is done by your system, it means your system is losing a form of energy. That's why we're going to represent it by a negative W. If work is being done on your system, it means your system will be absorbing that work and transforming it into another form of energy. So that's why we're going to represent it plus W. So whatever problem that comes along, take a look at the wording. If it says work is done on your system, it means your system is gaining the energy. You're going to represent it by plus W and you're going to carry on with your equation. If work is done by your system, it means your system is going to be releasing that work into the surroundings, going to lose that energy as a result. Hence, we're going to represent it by a negative W. With regards to the heat transfer, it's very straightforward. If it's going into your system, you're going to have plus Q. And if it's going out of your system, you're going to have a negative Q. So this concludes the representation of the first law of thermodynamics and how it affects or aligns with the internal energy of any system around us. Now, in the course description below, I've left for you a link for our tutoring service on the academy in case you need specific specialized attention for whatever concept related to engineering, physics, mathematics, feel free to send us a message and we are more than glad to help you out. At this point, make sure that you smash the like button and the subscribe button to stay tuned for our upcoming videos.